Hello, everybody. Hi. It's us. We're, uh, we're doing a live from a hotel room right now because we're pretty banging and you can make cups anywhere, anywhere. And that's what we're going for right now. Totally. So. You're probably going to see our kids. Yeah, you'll probably see our kids. Our kids are still awake. Hi. So. I packed everything I needed. I packed my cups. Yas. Yas. These are our cups. This one's going to have mud on it. This one's going to have blood on it. Because it's a Deadpool cup. Actual blood. Uh, no. No. Ew. No. Anyways. So. We've got this rolling for us. I completely forgot my dirt at home. Yes. I forgot my dirt at home. It's the AC, guys. Calm down. It's so loud. Ew. It don't clip. Oh, never mind. Anyways. Um. So. We got our red acrylic paint. Acrylic paint. Um, we're going to dump it in, well, I was going to dump it in there, but um, it's kind of nasty. So, I'm going to open up another one of these little cups, because we had a hotel room. And, is anybody tuning in yet? There's 56 people in here. No, they yeah. they're, uh, they're watching our chaotic live. We you planned for this, okay? All of the time it took for Cameron to get off at 6 o'clock. Yeah, I was supposed to be off at 6. Seven. You guys can see clearly what time it is. It's about to be 9 o'clock. It's about to be 10 o'clock. It's 9.45. So, we see we're going to be live at 9.30. We're a little late, but sorry, guys. A little late. It's fine. It's fine, though. It's fine. Um, What's your brother doing? So, I'm mixing <laughs> some water in with my acrylic paint. Um, Why do I feel like this is going to make a huge mess? It's not. Okay. I got my bag. I feel like we need to go to the bathroom. No, it'll look like we killed somebody in there. Okay. So, I've got my workspace. Just so you guys know, you can take and make cups anywhere, okay? So, I got my red acrylic paint, I got my chip brush. My chip brush is the same kind of brush that I use. It's just a new one that I got from Amazon. It's a one and a half inch chip brush. Um, and I've got half, a little less than half water and half acrylic paint. Um, and you just mix it up in there. You want it to have a thicker consistency so it doesn't really run too much. Um, and I did epoxy my cup first, and the reason I do that is because this can uh, stain your water slides. And I might be dipping out to go pick up our food. <laughs> I gotta pick up our food by 10 o'clock. And I might will take So over. this is how it looks. So I'm just adding blood spatter everywhere on the cup. I wanna add it by the bullet holes, of course. Um, so you can take your finger and, and rub it all around there. You know, I did, so this, I did have crimson red at first for the red that I had. And I actually found some regular red. And I like the regular red. This is the, um, 2041 5E red. The crimson red was too bright of a red for me. And this is pretty bright, as you guys can see. So it, it was way brighter than this. Um, so I'm just taking my brush and I'm slinging it at my cup. Stop laughing. <laughs> what you laughing at? This is, this, is, this is how you get blood, didn't you know? Um, anyways, so I do have the maximum effort on the bottom in water slide. Uh, so I'm just slinging it. I am getting some red on. I'm, I'm going to walk out of this hotel room. And we're right. Gonna pretend that we have White tank paint. top. White tank top. Red paint. Yes. Blood effect. Yeah. All over your white tank top. I don't have it all over my white tank top. Thank you very Not much. Not yet. <laughs> so, just kind of throwing it on there. Okay. So, I like the way this blood effect sits. 
So I'm going to uh, put a tissue down or two. And the reason I'm going to do this, I don't want to flip my cup upside down because if I flip my cup upside down, then the blood marks will go the wrong way. So you want to make sure that you do put it, you know, bottom first. Right side up. Yeah, right side up. That's what I meant. I meant that. So that's pretty much all it is for the blood spatter. I like the coverage that's on it. I might be like, I might go back and like do some blood around there, around all the bullet holes. Because I want it to look like whenever someone got shot that there was blood that was coming out of it. Um, yeah, I like that. So you can go in and touch it up with your fingers or the brush itself. It's not going to hurt anything. We'll probably do a fingerprint. Yeah, we'll do a fingerprint. I have good ideas. Ooh, that noise. Okay. Yeah. So that's good for the... For that. I think that looks really good. It will run a little bit more. You'll see it continue to run. And the longer, you know, it sits, the more it'll come to life. Um, once it dries, it won't be as bright red as it looks like here. You can also mix a little bit of black in with it to give it a darker color like real blood. Um, once this dries, I will leave it here. And I did bring my um, two times sealer, um, a matte clear, brand new bottle. Perfect and to spray in the hotel room. Yes, no, I'm not spraying it in the hotel room. Um, I will spray it before I epoxy it and I will spray it before I move it. Um, so the other cup that I'm gonna do is this one. I wanna make sure I don't get any blood on this one because I might stain it. And I also forgot to bring the dirt. Yeah, so we did forget the dirt, but that is going to be completely okay. And here's why. We are going to use coffee grounds, which I actually used coffee grounds in one of my other cups that I've done before. So, the hotel has coffee grounds. Yes. Because I'm smart and inventive. Inventive, inventive. creative. Yeah. Whatever. MacGyver. Anyways. <laughs> Dumping it out in my cup, right? Because they're little pods. Who would have thunk that there would be little pods? So this is my water, my cup of water. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And I did bring this, so I'm going to use the end of one of these. I think I need to go get the food. Yeah, pass it off to Izzy. Izzy, Izzy is going to be in charge. Everybody say hey to Izzy. Uh, like this? Yep, just hold it. Hold it on the sides. Because that way, because your speaker's down here, right? You want them to be able to hear what mommy's saying, so. Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to get food. Okay. Right. The hard thing about it is that all my itching. Okay, so you have to make sure that I'm in all the frames. Okay. So, I have my coffee grounds. And I'm mixing it in with my water. It's turning it into more of a mud substance. Come here, Bubbles. I realized when I left that I didn't take any with me. Okay. Come on, Bubbles. Bye, Bubbles. So I'm just mixing this in. Okay with this. Now it does smell like coffee and it's very refreshing you guys. A uh, little bit of water, a lot of coffee. So you can see it's more, it looks like a mud, a mud consistency. You want to make sure you can see a little bit of the water up at the top. And so yeah, so that's what it's going to come off of it looking like. Probably add a little bit more water now you will notice that the grains you're gonna be able to see the grains a little bit more um, than what you would regular dirt you can also do this with dirt you just mix up mud 
some you know darker dirt and then uh, do the same thing that I'm gonna do just add a little bit of water with your dirt so I'm gonna put this over my already made mess I'm not gonna leave this mess for anybody to clean up so I'm gonna take my hand inside of this little concoction that I've got here and I'm just going to pat it onto the bottom of the cup now the key thing here is that you want to make sure that it dries completely before you spray seal it and you definitely want to spray seal it you can see it looks like a, a dirt consistency there um, I know that four-wheelers and dirt bikes and things like that their tracks have a thicker darker looking dirt to it it looks more of like an orange exactly like these coffee grounds um, that's why I used this before with my dirt bike cup that I did. Um, you do want to try and press your coffee grounds down quite a bit because you will have to epoxy until smooth over this. Um, you can leave a little bit of texture and that will probably feel cool. This cup is for a kid, um, so he, the texture is going to feel really cool underneath it. Can this go zoom in, in and out? So both of these cups do have the base of the glow in the dark and I will get to questions in just a second you guys. I'm not going to forget about you I promise. Um, both of these bases have glow in the dark powder in them. Uh, I did it on one of my on my last live I believe which was I think it was Sunday last week. Um, and it was my Carol Baskin cup that we were doing. And while Cameron was weeding some of the stuff, we mixed up the glow powder with the epoxy. And I did two layers of the glow powder with the epoxy to show, to make sure that it glows the way that it's supposed to. You wanna make sure that you have full coverage of the glow powder. Um, both of these glow blue per the customer request. Um, the Deadpool one is probably my favorite one, and I'll show you guys that one again before we sign off and all that good jazz. Because food's going to be here in a little bit. Yeah. And it's way past our bedtime. So you can also take some of this <laughs> and sling it up there. You don't want to cover up the words too much, but you want to make it look like, you know, the four-wheeler slung dirt up onto your cup. And get the bottom you probably you don't want to leave too much chunky on the bottom because you don't want your cup to epoxy unlevel on the bottom um, but I do think that the coffee grounds add a nice texture to the cup I don't want to make it too thick I mean my idea is um, spreading it off and then it will look all brown is anybody asking questions? Um. I don't know. All it says is J.D. Brooks at Salmon is watching. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So I did leave fingerprints on it, handprints on it. Trying to. So that you can see that on there. It looks like somebody grabbed it. It looks really cool. It's just enough to not be too much. Um, I do want to get some extra of the big bulky stuff. You want to make sure that you tap it all down. Let me see. The phone kid. Come here. Uh, everyone is watching. Everybody's watching. Nobody's saying nothing. Nobody likes me anymore. That's not you guys. Okay, so I'm just tapping all of that down. Now this was coffee grounds mixed with a little bit of warm water. It wasn't really super hot. Um, it looks like mud, um, especially mud that you would get from a dirt, dirt bike track or a four wheeler track or anything like that. Race. So. Looks like someone had done challenge day dirt bike race yep so this one you can flip upside down and leave like that um let me take the phone back from my kid 
sorry guys if I'm too doing so that was our mud cup um, I started these cups I think last week sometime and uh, I did the glow powder on it now this is what the blood one looks like it even looks like real blood like we're gonna leave this for the hotel staff I'm just kidding I'm really not um so this is what it looks like now that it's starting to dry I did touch some of it up around the bullet holes so that it looks like there was blood coming from the bullet holes so that looks super cool the more it dries the more real it looks it's Deadpool Deadpool cup It looks really cool. I like it a lot. And like I said, I, you know, I put it on the counter where it was turned like this. Um, if you flip it the other way and do it um, like this one, like I have this one, you'll notice that the blood will run the opposite direction of what you want it to go. And trying to fix that is a lot more difficult than the way it sounds. Um, you do need to make sure that your blood and your blood spatter is where you want it to be. Um, because if it's not, it will stain your epoxy. So it will stain it red. Um, the blood I used the, uh, acrylic paint. This is 20415E red from Apple Barrel. Um, I did have a crimson red and I didn't like the color of it. It was too bright red. Um, it was a lot lighter. And if you do have that, you can just add a little or a little bit of black to it to give it a little bit of a darker look, um, to look like blood. Uh, this cup looks, I think it looks fantastic for the blood color. Um, and before I actually epoxy my uh, Deadpool cup with the blood spatter or the cup with the dirt on it, I will um, spray seal it with two times clear, matte clear, and then I will epoxy. I'll do two or three, three layers of it. Um, yes, we are in a hotel room. We are all, I did not want to take away from the fact that I was going to do a live from you guys, for you guys. Um, so we took everything with us. Um, so I figured it'd be super fun. If you wanted to turn cups in your hotel room, you definitely could. Um, I did not make a mess anywhere that I don't plan on cleaning up. So yes, I did. I packed everything with us except for I left my dirt. So we improvised with the coffee grounds and I mixed that in with a little bit of water and um just kind of touch that onto the cup you know it does smell super coffee in here yes i am very dedicated to you guys i love everybody at the glitter craze family i love tammy i love Lindsay. i love everybody here you guys don't understand how loyal i am to you guys like i i I'm, i always come live on friday nights at 9 30 and we were a little bit late getting here and getting on to the live but i wanted to make sure that i was here um so that you guys didn't miss anything and yeah we'll be in jekyll island so if anybody's in jekyll island we'll be here until sunday afternoon um but i did bring my cups along and I wanted to show you guys how to do the blood spatter. I was supposed to do it on Wednesday, um, so we're doing it now. And I do plan on going live again on Sunday night. Um, we'll cook up something to go live with. Are you going in October? Yes, I will be there in October. I'm super excited. I can't wait to meet Tammy and Lindsay and everybody else. Um, I love everybody of the Glitter Craze family. It's a really great company, um, and I love everybody here. Uh, so yeah, I look a little bit rough. <laughs> We've been in the car for a little over an hour. Um, so I packed everything up. I threw everything in a suitcase. Cameron said, Hey, let's go. We're going to Jekyll. So I packed everything up and you guys are coming to Jekyll with us. So Cameron went to go get food before the um, restaurant closed down. So he just stepped away just for a second. So it's all me, you guys and, me. and Izzy. Yeah. 
but we did our blood spatter cup. Our Deadpool has got a tissue stuck to it right now. <laughs> I can't wait to make, meet you either, Tavoli. Hopefully next year I'll meet you at a glitter craze. After COVID crap, I definitely, definitely agree. Yes, and Jada is on her way to Jekyll right now with us. They're in the room next to us. By the way, I can sneak in your room. So this is our blood spatter cup. I go in and add some bullet holes to it. I think it looks awesome. Hi, Lisa Carver. Love you. I uh, wish you were in Jekyll right now. Uh, so yeah, I think it looks super awesome. It does have a tissue stuck to the bottom of it right now only because I set it on tissues for the blood spatter to run down the cup so it gives it more of the illusion of being real blood. Um, why didn't you get a not notification that see nobody's getting notifications anymore i don't know um but yes i did already do the blood spatter it's super easy hey izzy what yes yeah, miss lisa uh. um yeah so blood spatter was the uh acrylic paint red acrylic paint and I mixed it in with just a little bit of water. Um, there's my, my blood cup. It kind of ew, it kind of really does look like a cup of blood. Um, and then I put it on my chip brush and I just kind of splattered it on there, kind of threw, you know, shook my brush at it. Um, and then I did touch up around the bullet holes, or the, the bullet holes. I touched up around there to make sure that there was blood coming from the bullet holes so they looked real and they looked like they were bleeding. Um, that adds a nice little touch to it. Uh, and then my mud, I was intending to use real mud, but I forgot it. So I took some coffee grounds, a cell room that we, we have right now. Um, I brought all of you guys with me to Jekyll. So welcome to Jekyll, you guys. Um, really and I took the coffee grounds and I mixed it up with some water and I just kind of dabbed it on there with my hand. I didn't use a brush for this one. So yeah, that's that one. Hi, Miss Geovet. Geovet? I love your name. I'm, I'm so, I, I don't want to pronounce it wrong. I love everybody and I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Um, so yeah, that's our, that's what we did today. Does anybody have any questions? Anything I can answer? Everybody's been quiet. What are you guys doing? This pre 4th of July day. Everybody's um, probably. Yeah, we can't sorry. My kids are awake. <laughs> It's mostly yeah. our bedtime. We go to <laughs> I go to sleep at nine. Christian go to sleep at nine. It's ten oh six. You have to excuse my children. I apologize for that. Have to ask, what is Jekyll? Jekyll Island is an island. It's about an hour, a little over an hour from where I am. And also, it's really fun. You get to go to to something called Georavet. Hi, Brittany. You just messaged me a few minutes before I went live and was like, are y'all going to go live tonight? And I didn't even get a chance to respond back because I was like, I have to rush and I have to get everything out of my bag so that I can do a live for you guys because I promised I was going to and I packed everything so that I could do the live for you guys. And I'm already done. It was a super easy one. It's 10.06. That is correct. Glore. Yvette. Glorvet. Yes. We're going to work on that. I'm going to FaceTime you. Glor. Yes. So what would you recommend for a first cup? Um, I would recommend a solid color cup. Um, and the reason I say that is before you dabble in all the glitter and get glitter all over your workspace, get comfortable with your epoxy, um, get comfortable with your spray paint and your cup and full coverage and uh, mixing times and all that stuff of, of your epoxy. Um, heat gun is very important. A lot of people think 
you don't need a heat gun or I use a I use a torch um, and my torch is important to me because I'm very impatient when mixing my epoxy so I get very impatient and I mix really fast and I get a lot of bubbles so I use my torch to get out all of my bubbles so I think a torch is very important I would definitely start with a solid color cup whether it be glitter or non-glitter uh, probably non-glitter would be the best to start with before you get you know all the glitter all over your workspace um, ready to do another peekaboo nice can you show the blood cup of course you're like my bestie <laughs> so yeah, it looks pretty awesome right I did touch up you know I threw my paintbrush at it really hi Lindsay um and i just slung it at it i put the this is just red acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of water just to water it down a little bit so that it's easier to throw at your cup yes i'm doing this in a hotel room i am very dedicated and yes we do live on vacation because we were here last weekend too and the weekend before that we like jekyll island um yes best Bullet holes, it yes, it has to have bullet holes. I mean, you know, Deadpool got shot a bunch of times and he had to have a ton of bullet holes. So yes, that is our bullet hole cup. I added, they are just water slide. I did epoxy over all of my water slides, including the bullet holes and the maximum effort on the bottom. Um, sure that the acrylic paint mixed with water wouldn't get underneath my water slides. Um, so I did do another layer of quick set earlier today. I love the fast set. Um, tried a touch for me to bring to the hotel with us within like an hour and a half. Um, so the warmer your room is, the faster it sets. I love the quick set. I finished my um, American Woman Cup in two days, I think, with the fast set. So I really love the fast set. Um, I can't speak highly enough about it. I love it. Um, this is my mud cup. This isn't real mud. This is coffee grounds. Um, I like the texture of the coffee grounds. Um, and I just mixed it with a little bit of water and made something that looked a little bit like mud. And I just took my hand and just patted it on the cup. You want to make sure that you pat it all down, let it dry completely and then spray seal it i would say two or three or four good times with the matte clear um i like the coffee grounds you can use real mud um, but i like the coffee grounds for a dirt bike track or like a four-wheeler type thing only because it gives more it gives a granular more textured look to it which reminds me more of a i did not bring a turner it reminds me more of a dirt track you know like if you go to a speed raceway or something like that if we go to oglethorpe speedway here it looks the dirt looks chunkier thicker you know so it reminds me of that more um so i like using the coffee grounds for that reason uh if you want to use real mud you can um i also thought about doing like the mud tracks so you could do a water slide over it once you do the the dirt you know going up the side of the, the cup for the mud tracks you could do a water slide over it as well but you do want to make sure that you seal 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 clear to make sure that your um, acrylic paint doesn't mix in with your epoxy and smear everywhere. Um, Izzy, go open the door. And you want to make sure that you seal your wood. <sighs> My kid just opened the bathroom door because she heard a knock at the, the hotel door. You're awesome. P.S. My son's father loved his Father's Day cup you made. Aw, I'm glad that he liked it. I remade that cup because I got glitter in it. And the struggle is 190% real. Um, let's see if I missed... Like coffee in here. It, I used coffee. It smells like coffee. There's the camera guy that everybody was missing. I'm glad he liked his cup. Because... I made a whole new one with fast set and I used fast set on that cup. I did do a top layer of regular UV um, art resin epoxy uh, of the glitter craze. It was a glitter craze as the top layer. Um, I did, yeah, 
I, I pumped that cup out in like two days. So I'm glad he liked it. I just wanted to make sure he didn't have any glitter in it. It's really hard to not get glitter in a non-glitter cup. Izzy did great. That's what Kaylee said. So. Izzy, you want honey mustard in it? He loved you not is begging for a cup from you. Aw, I'll do a cup for him. You let me know what he likes. I'll do a cup for him. You guys are awesome. We are going to jump off. Um, yes. If you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Send me a friend's request. Um, you can get notifications when I go live if you send me a friend's request. I hope you guys all have a... I have not done a Pokemon yet, but I have a Pokemon straw topper. And it would be banging on a, on one. Or wrestling, I can do whatever. Bye, guys. Polk County, Tennessee. I think I'm, like, way far away from you. I'm from Savannah, Georgia. So, I think you are pretty pretty far away. But, yeah, you guys can catch the replay. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic 4th of July. And I will be back on Sunday night once I put my kids to sleep. Hey. You see everybody? Bye. Yeah, they're they're crowding me right and now. And the one right there. There's a little baby. You guys haven't really seen the baby yet. <laughs> He's like stalking me for food. He's wearing his Rink and Chevy shirt because I work at Rink and Chevy, so he's wearing his Rink and Chevy shirt. Say hey. He's cute. Say hey. Wait there, bud. You guys have a great 4th of July weekend. I hope everybody has a fantastic and safe time. Um, from my family to yours. And I love all of you guys. And I will see you next time.